Still looking for a major legislative victory, President Trump moved on today to taxes. He rolled out his plan for an overhaul. Nancy Cordes now on what's in it. There's never been tax cuts like what we're talking about. Our President Trump traveled to Indiana to tout what he called a once-in-a-generation opportunity. I guess it's probably something I could say that I'm very good at. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Republicans released an eight-page framework. Goal number one, slashing the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 20 percent. For individuals, the plan would take the seven current income tax brackets with rates that range from 10 percent to 39.6 percent and consolidate them to three brackets, 12 percent, 25 percent, and 35 percent. Democrat Chuck Schumer cried foul. Is the top rate on the wealthiest comes down and the bottom rate on working class families goes up. What kind of plan is this? But Republicans argue that doubling the standard deduction and boosting the child tax credit will lower working class taxes. Their plan preserves breaks for mortgage interest and charitable giving, but eliminates most other itemized deductions, along with the estate tax and the alternative minimum tax. Simplifying the tax code so that you can file your taxes on a form the size of a postcard. Republicans made a show of unity today, even as analysts warned the plan could reduce government revenue by $2 trillion or more over the next 10 years. Yeah, so the question is, how do you pay for it? South Carolina Republican Tim Scott insists the bill, once written, will close costly loopholes. Isn't that the hard part, getting rid of all the goodies that people have gotten used to? It, it, it is the process. So the process is typically painful, but the outcome of seeing folks keep more of their take-home pay, seeing our nation become more competitive in a global scale, these are great outcomes. I hope we get there. He and other Republicans are hoping to get that bill done by Thanksgiving, and they will try to keep the lobbyists at bay, Anthony, by waiting as long as possible to reveal which loopholes and carve-outs are on the chopping block. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thank you, Nancy.